Hello, this is Tolfman Trifle Production with another Blender Quick Tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can use keyframes or shape keys, I mean, to correct animations in Blender. Now, I'm going to play this animation for you guys so you can see what I'm referring to, what I'm talking about. So let's press play. See, we've got, uh, I've got this simple setup of this uh, extended cube. And it's got an, a simple basic armature in the middle of it that's uh, helping it to have this action here. Now let's say I was wanting to have the top of my model go up and down uh, to simulate like a pumping action. Now in order for me to do that, I would have had to clear out all, all the keyframes because this has about this has a good amount of keyframes, not too many, but enough keyframes in it for the for this tutorial. You could probably have more, but let's say I wanted to have that simulation going on at the top of here of the model. And, <clears throat> excuse me, what I would have, have had to have done was clear out all the keyframes and then uh, extend out this armature with an extra bone, attach, reattach the model to the bone, and then reanimate the whole thing again. <clears throat> There's a better way to do this that saves time. And I'm going to show you how I did it, or how it's done in, in Blender. Now, the first thing you have to do is click on your model. And then once that's been done, you go over to the tab here where you have these this triangle, this green triangle. And once you've clicked on that, you're going to come up or have uh, options of shape keys. Now you're going to click twice on this, one, two. And the basis is not what you want to uh, touch at all because the basis is the the basic uh, starting point of your model, you know, your where your model, the original uh, design, so to speak, of your model. What you want to animate or uh, affect is the second option, which is the key one. Now you can double click in here and, and you know rename it, which is a good habit to have. So we're going to rename this pump. P U M P. Enter. And I'm going to tab into edit mode by pressing tab on my keyboard. And once that's done with my model selected, I'm going to pull this out at the top. I'm going to press tab again, go back into uh, object mode. <clears throat> now you might think to yourself, well, nothing's happened. It still looks the same as before. But in order to see the change, you have to scroll down here. And in value, you can just zoom up or drag up with your, key with your mouse. And you can see that now the top of it is actually moving. Now the thing you want to keep in mind is it's it's good to just work with the vertices that you have on your model. Don't add more vertices to it because if you do it could mess up your model pretty bad. So before you add shape keys to your model make sure that you're satisfied with the shape it's in and don't add any more uh, vertices or cuts to it at all. Just use the shape keys that you, or just use the vertices that you have already on the model. That's the key thing to remember. Excuse me. <clears throat> now, once you've done that, I'm going to click on my armature. You can see all the keyframes here. Now, I want to alternate the pumping action with the keyframes that I have. Now, we're going to click back on our model, and if you look beside the value option here, the value parameter you'll see a dot. If you click on that dot, that helps you set a keyframe. Now, this is for Blender 2.8 and above. I think for 2.79 and below, this option isn't there. Uh, but in order to uh, animate the value, just press, just hover your mouse over here, over the uh, parameter, and press I on your keyboard, it automatically sets a keyframe for you. No, oh, I tapped something there. But once you press I on your keyboard, hover over that, It'll set the keyframe for you so you don't have to worry about, you know, that option not being there in a earlier versions of Blender. Now I'm going to click back on my armature again, <coughs> excuse me, and click on my next keyframe, which is at 20. I'm going to go back to my model, click on that. I'm going to drag this up to 1 because I want it to fully extend. Then press on this diamond-shaped option here, click on that. This is the second keyframe. Now if you can't see your armature inside of your model just press your keyboard and it'll give you the x-ray view and click on your uh, armature again go to my next keyframe which is 40 click on that 
and click on my model again and this time I want it to go down I want the top to go back down because once again we're trying to simulate a pumping action so I'll pull that back down and click on that diamond icon there or diamond option I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna call it an option click on that that's this our third keyframe go back to our armature go up to frame 60 click on our model I drag this up again that extends the top and then set another keyframe by clicking on that diamond and let's get out of the x-ray mode by pressing Z so we can see the uh, the changes that we've made so go back to the beginning and play that and now I've got that action that I was trying to get at the beginning when I first started keyframing my model so that's the <coughs> pretty fast and easy way to animate or clean up or fix an animation in Blender uh, when you've already animated an object and you don't want to have to re-key everything again you just create shape keys and you just keyframe the shape keys and then you're good so that's today's Blender quick tip and I hope this was helpful to those of you who have watched the video we really appreciate you guys and I thank you guys who have subscribed to uh, the channel in the past those of you who are subscribing now and those of you who will subscribe in the future. And I will see you guys on the next one. And I didn't say this in the last video. But Happy New Year. And hope you guys have a great one. Alright. Adios.